Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Today I thought I would do kind of like a little November wrap up December plans um, for cross stitch. I'm not including anything with my diamond painting or other crafts in here. Um, so for November I had done the um, 24 hours of cross stitch cross stick challenge for the first time so I did the November acrostic the word for that was arbitrary so I chose eight patterns to work on for the nine letters and hopefully I'll be able to show you if I can find pictures I'll put pictures up of my before for anything that I'd already started and I'm going to show you my progress on them I met my goals for all of them which was 200 stitches or two hours which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but with as many cross stitch and diamond painting projects as I have going on, plus I'm a full time student, plus I'm kind of back to work, so I just I don't have as much time as I would like to sit and stitch. All right, enough explanations, and I guess it's a reason, but it sounds like an excuse why I haven't done more. So let's move this. Um, my first letter was A. And it was a new start, so I don't have a before picture. Um, I call her Shopping Witch. I think she was called like a girl in a shop or something like that. Or maybe it was just pillowcase. And I got my 200 stitches in on her. I don't know the exact count. I think I have them in the Facebook book group but I know I did at least 200 stitches on all of the ones except for a couple of my counted I'm not sure how many I got um, she's pretty big I didn't get a whole lot done just the the minimum required that I set go I set for myself just over down in this corner I've only done a couple colors kind of a green and a maroon so not a whole lot to show um, I'm hoping I get a chance to work on her sometime in December, but I'm not sure because she is not in my plans. I'm just going to leave her in my current whip box and hope that I can get to her because she's, she's so pretty. She is a long-term project. I know I'm not going to get her done anytime soon. Uh, the second one I had chosen was a Her my Harry Potter shield. R was the letter. I chose Harry Potter for Ravenclaw. If I have a before picture, then I'll put that up now. Here's my after. Whoops, I hit the camera. It's hard to put it all up in there, but I mostly worked up here on the greens. And I put a little too, over 200 stitches in this one. I think I might have done a little bit of the orange, but I'm not sure. I know I worked on the greens. So that's what I counted was in the green. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. It was just an Amazon kit. It's 30 by 40. It's 40 colors, so I'm hopeful that it's going to turn out nice. I don't have a good picture of what it'll look like, and this thing will not focus. That's my progress on that one. Sorry, sorry if there's a lot of pauses while I get stuff in and out of the bags. My next one was B in arbitrary, so I chose Al's the bookmark, B for bookmark got like 203 stitches or something like that in this it's on this like kind of like rubbery silicone -y fabric it's not like a cloth fabric it's really interesting it's not bad to work on I actually like working on it it's easy to work on but yeah not a whole lot of progress but this was a new start so no beginning picture I mean it literally just looked like this This is what it will look like. 
I have no hurry to finish this one, so I'll probably put this away until maybe January. I have no plans to finish that anytime soon. The next letter was I. I chose Icy. I chose my castle in bottle piece because there is plenty of ice in this. Um, I will try to put up the before picture. This is my progress. I don't know how many stitches I got in. I don't think I made it to 200, but I did put two hours in it. So I met my goal of 200 stitches or two hours. I spent almost as much time picking out the stitches I put in as actually putting in any stitches because apparently I don't know how to count anymore. This one, I still, I just, I cannot tell if it's going to turn out well or not. I'm really hopeful. It's a small piece with 29 collars. It's just the picture's so blurry, both on the fabric and on the chart that I'm kind of scared it's gonna turn out like that. The collars are so different than the picture. It's been really bothering me. I almost want to stop on this and buy a kit from a different place or just buy the pattern. Actually, I think I have this pattern somewhere, this chart, and just kit it up myself because Right now, I'm just, I'm not loving it. That's another reason it's taking me so long. I'm just not loving this, how it's looking. But I'm stubborn. And I kind of want to keep going to see how it turns out. So, either way, I'm going, I think I will continue with this. Um, I don't have it in my plans for this month, but I'm going to keep it in my whip bin. And work on it. So whenever I get the urge, it's just I haven't been getting the urge. That one I got from One Day Saving. I'll put the link in, in case you like what you see. Like I said, I'm, I don't. I just I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I don't have a real review, a real rating of it yet, because it might turn out lovely. So yeah, I think I will. I will keep working on it. You can hear the way my brain works. All right, the next letter was T. I chose another pillowcase. It was another new start. I call her woman reading. I think it's called like woman in bookstore or something maybe. New start so no before picture but this is what she's gonna look like. When I did the unboxing for this I, I talked about how there's actually a larger picture, a larger chart for this but I wanted the pillow so I got the smaller one. It's very detailed, so cat, go away. The cat interrupted my last video, and now I think he's going to interrupt this one. I worked on her twice. I worked on her for sorry, I'm moving the cat because he is scratching me. Trying to get up on me. I'll be right back. All right. I had to pause so I could remove the cat from my room because he was trying to tear into me because he wanted on me and I didn't want him on me and he's very stubborn. All right. So I worked on her for T for Totoro because there is a little image of Totoro in this and I worked on her also for A for another new start. There's the little Totoro. I really wish this thing would just focus. Maybe I'll try to get a picture put up if I remember. Um, so I put in a little over 400 stitches because I worked on her twice. I started in the top left corner for this. Did mostly dark colors as you can tell. Again, she's going to go in my whip bin because I'm hoping to work on her some more. I just, I would love this chart. I love the picture or image. And I really want to get more done on her. But again, she's going to be a long-term project because look at, she's pretty big. And uh, it's going to take me a while because I have so many things I want to work on. I wish I was a person, a monogamous stitcher. I wish I could just sit and stitch on something until it was done because I have so many things I 
want to get done, but at the same time, I have so many things I want to do. Yeah, she's 45 by 45 centimeters, 195 by 195 stitches. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, next, I worked on another new start. This one was for the letter R. Um, I call her Red Hair Girl, so R for red hair. Got a picture of her. So it's a red hair woman on a green background with a white owl. And I cannot tell you how much I love this image. I worked on her once, so 200 stitches, and I focused on the owl, so I only have part of the owl's face done. It does not look like a lot, but she is on 18 count, so tiny stitches. I mean, I've worked on smaller, but or larger count, smaller stitches before, but you ever see like little weird shapes? Like it looks like a little hand over the eye. Pardon my gnarly nails. She is another one that's going to go in my whip bin in hopes that I can work on her some more, but she is not in my December plans. But I love her so much. Another little long term project. She's probably going to stay in my whip bin at least for the next several months. I just have so many new ones coming in that I want to work on that it's just. It's difficult for me to focus just on one. Um, the last R in Arbitrary, I chose another Harry Potter piece. It's the Harry Bot Potter banner. Again, R for Ravenclaw. I don't have a picture for this either. I should have a before picture, hopefully. I just focused on the dark going down around. What is that, Hufflepuff? I got my 200. I actually did over 200 stitches, but I don't remember how many. I think I might have got close to 300 on this one. This one only has 24 colors in it. I'm really hoping. This is another one I got off of Amazon. I think it's discontinued. I think both of my Harry Potter ones are no longer sold on Amazon. Which they're not called Harry Potter on there. I just assume they're Harry Potter because of Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and all that. I wish I could talk. I keep saying things weird. Okay, here's my little edited part. So for Y of my November acrostic, arbitrary, since I forgot to record this when I was recording the others, I did Y for years because I have been working on this for years. It's sat untouched for years and now I'm working on it again. If I can find the picture of where I started I'll put that up here but all I really worked on was black I believe. So I got I don't know if I got my 200 stitches but I worked a little over two hours on it so I met my goal of 200 stitches or two hours. This is for my husband he has been waiting kind of impatiently for years for me to get this done. This is going to go on his office wall whenever it's finally finished and I just been it's like the more I want to work on it like want to get it done the less I actually work on it because I'm obstinate apparently. Plus I have been picking out more than I've been stitching I think like this. I know this is messed up. I got to pick out more here. I messed up several times through here. I've had to pick it out and restitch it. I don't know why I can't count lately. I wonder if I miscounted all through here and just don't remember it. I love this piece. I love how it's turning out. I mean, there's little parts of it that I'm kind of like, I wish I'd done different colors for. But it was a free pattern. I think I'm on 18 count. I never did. I need to figure that out. But anyway, so that is my progress. And that was the last one for my November acrostic. So now back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, so that is my progress on my November. Sorry about hitting the camera. Acrostic. 
Um, we just got the word for the December acrostic, and I've already picked my charts or my kits out for that. My projects. Here's the word I was looking for. So for December, the acrostic challenge, it was free spirited. So two words, 12 letters. So I will show you what I have picked out for that. None of these have been shown on this channel before. None, I think a lot of these, like this one I started in May of 2018. I did Stitch Mania back then, like one time. And a lot of these were started then. And then I put them away and never touched them again. So, yeah. You're going to see a lot of things that have starts, but not much else. Okay, so this one is Christmas Window by Artiste. I think this is probably like Hobby Lobby or something. And it says $27.99, but most of the kits I get whenever I buy from a place like that is I usually get them on like clearance or huge sales. So I doubt I paid anywhere near that for it, unless I got this as a gift. Because my family knows how much I love cross-stitch kits, so sometimes they get me some as gifts. Let's see. I haven't even opened these to see how much progress I had, if any. So like I said, I chose this for my first piece. This is F for Fireplace. Definitely got some stuff done on this one. I can't even... I think it goes like this. I'm going to have to figure out... No, it goes like this. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So here is my start for December. Not a whole lot done. It's a pretty good sized piece. A lot of detail. A lot of back stitch. But like I said, I haven't touched this since May of 2018. So it's time. It's time to do some work on it what I'm liking about this acrostic challenge. I'm actually digging into my UFOs and my stash and getting stuff out to work on. I feel like I'm actually making, even if it's a little progress, I feel like I'm making progress on stuff that hasn't been touched in a long time. So that was Christmas window. For R in free, I chose, this is just called Merry Christmas. I probably got this off of like AliExpress or something. Again, I started this back in May of 2018. It's all in red. It says cotton thread, but it doesn't feel like cotton. It feels more like rayon or maybe it's their silk thread. They just didn't mark it as silk. As you can see, it's all in red tones. So this one is nice thick paper. It's only two colors. Two colors of red. It's not the easiest stuff to stick, stitch with. It's, it frays so much. But here is my start. Wasn't a huge start. I just got the Elm in Mary. It's very shiny. I don't know if you can see that at all. See if the lighting, no, the lighting didn't really help, but the lighter red, the kind of pink is like, it's just, it's really, it's got a really nice sheen to it. And it's really like really soft, not soft, smooth. I don't know. I'm bad with words. Descriptors are not my strong point, but it's really silky. That's why I was wondering if it was their silk thread. It's very silky. But that is my start. I don't know how many 200 stitches is, but I'm hoping to get at least part of the rest of the word Mary done. That's my goal on this. If I have time, I'll try to start on maybe some of the stuff around the word. I'll probably only work on it this month, though. 
I was really debating on keeping it out and trying to get it done from next Christmas. But I have a lot of stuff I want to work on. Um, the next one. I chose E. This is a little reindeer. Kind of like a bookmark or something. I, I really want to say I got this from like the Target dollar spot or whatever it used to be called. Way back. I don't even know. It's probably 2018 also. I've had it for years. And it's just a reindeer with lights strung around his antlers and jingle bells. And they barely gave enough Ada for the peas. Which I think I started it a few rows down, but but counting it, it's just barely big enough for this piece. So E for edge, because I'm really close to the edge. Apparently I started at the bottom, was working my way up. I don't even remember working on this really. I vaguely do. I know I didn't live where I live now. And I've lived here for a good six years. So that tells you how long it's been since I worked on this. I forgot it existed until I was diving through my stash and my UFO bin to pick out these 12 projects. It's going to be cute when it's done. I'll, I'll probably make it into like a little pillow or something. There's not really... I might be able to frame it, but it'd be really hard to find something that narrow. So probably like a little pillow or a little... I doubt I'll use it as a bookmark, but I might find some fabric and back it and use it as a cute little Christmas bookmark. We'll see. So the next, I also chose this for E because there was two E's in free. It was really hard to find stuff for E. And I just chose these Christmas owls, which they didn't have a name, I don't think. No. I chose this and just said E is for everyone is dressed up because they're all... There's a little tree. This is a little snowman. I think he's just a little gift. A little present. He's got antlers. And he's got a little Santa hat. I think this is adorable. And I do not know why I put it away for too long. This was another one that I started back probably 2018. Probably, yep, beginning of May. So this was my first Stitch Mania start. Because I have Stitch Mania number one on it. I don't know if you can see that. 5-1-2018. I can see that I actually blew up the pattern because the pattern was chart was so small. Looks like I made decent progress on this because I think I worked on, I think since Stitch Mania 2018, I did 15 pieces two days each or something like that. So that's not too bad for two days work. I don't know if you can see the white. Owls are so cute. I'm trying to if there's any back stitching. I'll look later. But uh it's detailed enough it doesn't really need it. It's really cute. But anyway this is my start for my fourth of 12 for my December acrostic. And you go through these a little bit faster so this isn't super long. Um, if I can find any of these, because I'm pretty sure I got a lot of these on AliExpress, I will put links in the description. But it's been so many years, I doubt I'm going to find much. Okay, the next one, S. I wrote them on my packages so I'd know which. They're dry erase markers so they'll come right off. If not, I can use alcohol to remove it. My next one is these two winter bears. Again, no name for the kit, so I just chose a name. I chose winter bears. You see there's a lot of backstitch in these. Um, this one I chose S for Santa Bear. Again, I was just struggling to, to find projects for this acrostic. If I kept digging, I would, probably would have found, but I was trying to find my winter and my Christmas themed ones specifically. That's what I want to work on. 
I don't think I have it. Do I have it written down? No. Pretty sure I started this in May of 2018 also. Because, like I said, that's when I started a lot. So this isn't too bad progress for two days. I will probably keep him, them, maybe in my whip bin for a bit because they're adorable. And why not work on Christmas or winter themed ones year round? Because they are so cute. So this is my start. I don't know. Hopefully, I think I'll work on his face for the 200 stitches. Don't hold me to that, but I think I'm going to work on his face. Try to get his nose and his cheeks and everything in there and his eyes. Eyes so cute. Anyway, that's my start for that, for F. The next one probably looks kind of similar. This one is P and Spirited. I chose my little teddy bear, another little winter bear or Santa bear. I chose P for presents because it looks like he's hauling a load of presents, probably for his friends and family. I could just be making stuff up. He could be taking his laundry home to do it. Another 2018 start. And I did not get as far on this. Sorry, trying to figure out which way's up. This way's up. Because this is his paws. And then the start of his cheek. So there's my, my start for December. I'm going to try to work my way up into his face. Because he deserves to have a face. So that's my teddy bear for P. If anybody else is doing this acrostic, let me know. I'd like to see what y'all are doing. If you have a channel, let me know so I can go check out your videos. If you're in the group, let me know so I can go check out your post. It's fun working together as a group on a challenge, even if you're doing different things. Um, the next one for I, I chose the little girl and friends. I chose I, because again, I was struggling for some of these letters, for icy wind is blowing because look, her scarf and everything is just kind of blowing off to the side, his little scarf. So I feel like it's a winter wind blowing. So I said icy wind. As you notice, a lot of these, or all of these, are counted cross stitch. Because that's all I did back years ago. Because the only stamp I'd ever seen was like these weird little stamped bibs that were not what stamped are now. It's just that they had X's stamped on the, the material. Like big X's. It was more like some kind of embroidery than cross stitch. Anyway, this is where I got on her. I actually, I really like her. And I worked on her. I feel like I worked on her recently. Well, but not recently, but not since. I think I've worked on her since 2018, if that's when I started her. Yeah, but May 18th, 2018 is when I started her. So this is my start for December. For her, I think I'm going to continue on her coat. And maybe your scarf. That's what I plan to do anyway. I really would like to get her done. She gives me both winter and late fall vibes. I think it's the leaves. Those berries looks like leaves and berries. Just really cute. I have a lot of these green pattern kits. I think I got them all off of AliExpress. So like I said, if I can find any of the other ones I'm showing you today, I will link them in my description box. <coughs> Alright, so that was I. Five more. Five more to do. Okay, this next one. I chose this kitten kit. 
R for Riolus, for the letter R in Spirited. I started this one on May 16th of 2018. Haven't touched it since that year. Had this double bag. It's got a lot of floss to it. I do not remember where I left off on this, which is always interesting when I, I pull out a cross stitch kit and just have no idea how much I've done on it. I love that it came on this this fabric. It's a pretty good size piece. I was making good progress on it. I don't know why I put it away. It might have been one of those I put away when I moved. And I said in a previous video, once I moved, I, I just didn't stitch for a long time. So there's, there's kits in there that I completely forgot about. And I have charts that I bought so many years ago that I never even kitted out. Especially since I got into buying actual kits. I think a lot of people do that opposite. They buy kits and then they get into kitting up their own. I love the detail on this. And the threads are just so soft. And vibrant. Look how vibrant. Oh, it's just not showing up. At least not on my screen. The way it is to my eye. I don't think changing the warmth of my light's going to help. No. This is like a deep kind of teal greenish. It's not a blue like what it's showing on my screen. I don't know what it's showing on your screen, but it's showing blue on my screen. And look at this tabby cat. Let me look at the picture again. So it's got three kittens and books. I love the lamp, the pendulum clock. I mean, I said lamp. There's a lamp. A vase, maybe. Vase. Pocket watch. It's got a lot of just detail to it. And I really look forward to working on this. I've had it out in my whip bin for the last month and I just never pulled it out because I've been working on everything else. But let's see how much I can get done this month. My goal is 200 stitches. Hopefully I can get at least that. 200 stitches or two hours, whichever comes first. It's Sometimes this counted takes me a lot longer because apparently I cannot count anymore. Next, I have another eye. I'm pulling out my I Am Knuff project because I was supposed to finish this in like October or something. I don't even remember. And I have not been working on it. And all I have left is the rest of the outline for the K and then enough. And... Am. I am Knuff. So there's an am in here somewhere. I cannot remember. I have a PDF chart. I don't have the, you know, a printed chart. So I can't look at it. But this is my beginning. This is actually a gift from my daughter. It was a freebie um, in one of my groups from a designer I enjoy. Um, if anybody's seen my, my raven that I test stitched. The same designer had made this and gave it as a freebie in a group I was in. And my daughter had just watched the Barbie movie and wanted that whenever I asked her if she'd be interested in it. And I just recently watched it and I think that Barbie movie was actually pretty great. So I might end up stitching one of those for myself. Who knows? I doubt it though. I don't like stitching the same thing twice. All right. The, I just hit my microphone. So the T for free spirited. I chose one I literally just unboxed today. The video's probably going up the day before this video. Um, it's called Christmas Cafe. It's a Joy Sunday. It's like my first Joy Sunday kit. Well, first, I got two in this unboxing. It'll be the first one I've ever worked on. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, so it's a, a new start, so there's nothing to show. It's just, you know, blank white canvas. It's 14 count. It is stamped. So I will take it out just in case you're interested. I 
I'm planning on just starting in one of the corners and working my way over. So I think I'm just going to start. Sorry, that's the right side up. Because I really, what I really want to do is start on the Christmas tree and this window. But then the rest of it's going to seem boring to me. So I think I'm going to start up here and just work my way across working these well, greens on here I just realized those are half stitches aren't they I'm not used to half stitches so that might go really quick so actually I think I'll start down here <laughs> We will see, you will see in my progress video where I started, because is this white just unstitched? Is this a partial? I didn't even notice that in my unboxing, because I don't see any just white, white squares. So I'll probably start with these blue circles, and then the little left bottom corner triangles. Just work my way back and forth. So we will see. Anyway, this is going to be another new start. I have several I want to do this month, but only a couple for the acrostic. So we'll see what all I get to. Cat hair all over the place. That is Christmas Cafe by Joy Sunday. I got it from 7great.com. The link will be in the description. So you can go grab it if you want, if you love it as much as I do. I just love these old timey Christmas scenes. And they got half stitch, back stitch, French knot, and full stitches in this. And like I said, maybe the white is unstitched, so it might be considered a partial. Um, the next one, E, is another the other Joy Sunday I just unboxed from Seven Great. Cat hair all over it already. This one's even smaller. I wanted some smaller kits because I keep getting large ones that take me forever. And while I love those, there is something really nice about working on something small that you know you can get done pretty quick. Another new start. Another one where I don't believe you, yeah, you don't work on the white. I'm just going to start on this collar. 738 and just work around till I get my 200 stitches or my two hours in. Looks like a kind of a tan collar. Might be kind of boring, but I don't think so. I look forward to this one. It's, it's more simplistic, more basic than the ones I usually do, but that's one reason I'm looking forward to it. And I like these just old timey looking kits. And I hear so much good stuff about Joy Sunday, and I'm pleasantly surprised by how clear their, their printing is and easy to read. So that's nice. Anyway, this one's called Christmas Out of the Window. It will be linked in my description box. Again, it's from 7 .com. My last one for D Inspirited at the Free Spirited is... A dimensions kit. I chose D for dimensions. It's called Cardinal Joy. I forgot I even owned a dimensions kit. I think I own several, but this is another one that I started years ago. I don't have a date on this, but I bet it's probably another one started in 2018. It's actually a, uh, are they called bell pulls? It's got the little scroll and bells on the bottom. If anybody knows what they're actually called, let me know. But it's a cardinal sitting on, is it holly? With the word joy or joy. I don't remember how to say it in French. Allegria. I'll just put joy, unless I decide to give this as a gift. Um, my best friend, her husband is French, her, their daughter is dual citizen French-American, so 
you know, they might appreciate something with their little French word on it. It's cute. I don't know. They love handcrafted things, so this could be a good gift for them. We'll see how it turns out. Listen to me rambling and giving TMI. That's what I do every video, isn't it? I left my needle in this. This thing has been sitting for years. I cannot believe I did a partial stitch, left my needle in it, and just put it away. Anyway, this is my start. Didn't get very far. At least I got the whole frame of it done. That's sometimes the most tedious. And sometimes the most relaxing, honestly. I like the colors in it. It's not going to be very big. I think I still have the... Yeah, I st still have the jingle bells and the little frame. What's funny... Another little TMI personal tidbit is that I had these sitting, I don't remember where I found them, but they've been sitting on my desk in this little drawer I have, container I mean, for a while now. Just sitting there and I, it's like, what do these go to? I had no idea. Now I know. That makes me happy. I'm going to put them in with this so I do not separate them again. But that is my start for December Cardinal Joy Dimensions Kit. No idea where I got this, honestly. No idea when I started it. Like I said, I started a lot of these in 2018, so it wouldn't surprise me to find out that's when I started this, but I don't know. I guess I could scroll back on my Instagram try to figure out. Um, I don't... Oh. You know what? I didn't even show you my last one for November. Maybe I'll cut it and edit it. Anyway, that's all I have for my December acrostic challenge. Um, I have other th stuff planned. I have some other kits that if I get a chance, I might start. I have a lot of diamond paintings I want to work on. If any of you follow my diamond painting video, you'll see that I'm currently working on four. Two of them for the Jingle Drills 2023 event. Two of them just long term, you know, I've just been working on Dragon Girl and Fall Girl. Um, if you've stuck with me this far, thank you so much. Um, I know it's been kind of a lengthy video, but that is my kind of like my November wrap up December plans video. Mostly just my acrostic, 24 hours acrostic, acrostic challenge video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you. If you like my content, please consider giving this video a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you know anybody that might like my content, please share it. Um, it really helps me. It helps the algorithms put my channel out there for other people to see. So maybe I can find other people that would like my content. Um, plus it just makes me happy when I see people like and subscribe. That's one reason I'm on here is to find people to interact with because I don't have people in my real life. Well, this is real life, but you know what I mean. In person. I don't have people that I can talk to in person about my cross stitch and my diamond painting and stuff. So it's great to meet people on the internet, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram that I can share my passion for creating things for diamond painting for stamped and counted cross stitch for drawing for painting for just all kind of stuff so you know help me put myself out there get other people interested so i have more people to talk to if you don't mind <laughs> anyway that's my that's my begging for likes and shares and subscription it doesn't cost you anything um so thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>